With the Premier League season coming to an end, Arsenal are looking to do their transfer business quick. And there's been a new target identified by Edu and Arteta for the midfield role. And today I'm going to be talking about who that player is, how good he is and what we could expect in terms of Arsenal going in for him and the sort of price range around him. But as always, before I begin, if you're new here, just give this video a thumbs up before you even start watching. So press that subscribe button and turn on notifications. It would really, really help this channel out. So without further ado, let's begin. The player I'm on about is Zhao Neves. Born on the 27th of September 2004, Zhao Neves is a Portuguese professional footballer who plays as a midfielder for Primeira Liga club Benfica and the Portugal national team. Coming through Benfica's youth system, Neves impressed during his time with the reserve side, winning the UEFA Youth League in 21-22, being instrumental part of Benfica's first European trophy in 60 years. He was subsequently promoted to the first team, making his professional debut at age 18, where he helped Benfica win the league title in his first season with them. Neves is a former Portugal youth international, representing his country at various levels and he made his senior international debut in 2023. Before I begin, I would just like to tell you that this information in terms of us targeting Zhao Neves is coming from a really reliable Arsenal source. If you're on Twitter, you may know him as Team News and Ticks, and he posted that Arsenal have now started scouting him and have been in contact with Benfica in terms of price and just his position in the market. So Jao Neves originally came into the Benfica side to replace Enzo Fernandes and has done a stellar job since coming into the side. 120 million euros release clause. I'm sure Benfica would be open to selling for way below that if they even want to sell him. But I'm just going to look at him from a tactical standpoint. Quick shout out to TotalFootballAnalysis.com who has provided most of the images going to be used in this video. But what this radar chart alludes to is the particular strength of Neves, which is his ability to carry the ball forward. It is a strength of the youngsters that he has even improved on this season. Last campaign, Neves completed 0.74 progressive carriers per 90, compared to 1.57 progressive carries per 90 this season. And Arsenal really, really want a ball carrier in that role. We've seen how potent and how much of a weapon it is when Declan Rice has played there. So if you have a player who's able to drive with the ball, it is perfect. We look at Mateo Kovacic at Manchester City, a really, really good example of a player who carries the ball forward and it creates so many different scenarios. And if you've got Rice behind him, the two can just switch when one is carrying the ball forward. And it just adds so much fluidity to the attacking play and another way of creating chances and scenarios. The graph showed that Neves has become accustomed to dribbling with the ball for considerable distances. Considering the 19-year-old's position as a predominant defensive midfielder, his attack-minded play is refreshing for a club like Arsenal who like to have the ball. His current manager has described him as someone very good under pressure, very good with the ball, always available and very courageous. And Arsenal really need those sort of players who have the balls and the confidence to grab the ball by the scruff of its neck and just try and attack. Jean Neves also has a lethal pass on him and the 19 year old's overall passing play has improved upon last season as he has completed 88% of his passes which of course is going to be crucial for us. We want to keep control of the game, keep possession and players like Jean Neves will perfectly fit into our philosophy. He currently ranks 85th in the percentile for dangerous passes per 90 in the league compared to last season where he ranks 76th in the percentile. We know with Thomas Partey, he's really good with progressive passes. And if Arsenal were to lose him, they need somebody to come into the midfield who's always looking for that extra pass, either over the top or via a switch. Most of Benfica's attacking play comes on the left, where Di Maria plays. And this is similar to Arsenal. We like to switch the ball over to Bukayo Saka. And Jao Neves would be perfect for this. He'll be able to quickly come into the side because... Our philosophy is the same as Benfica's. He has the ability to switch that ball over to the web where Kayo Saka is and create a really, really nice potential overload with Odegaard on that side of the pitch. And having somebody with that sort of awareness and accuracy from balls over the top or switching of play is really, really nice. Pressing is also another really, really impressive part of Zhao Neves' game. And you know, Arsenal love to press, especially with Odegaard. He normally leads the press. 
So it would be really beneficial for us to have another midfielder with Declan Rice and Odegaard to make that press as effective as possible. Neves has played an important part in the press this season, as the graphic shows. He's responsible for nearly 13% of all Benfica's successful overall high press games in the league. For all Primera Liga players to have featured for at least five 90s this season. Neves has averaged 1.08 tackles in the attacking third, the highest in the division. Moreover, the 19-year-old has won nine tackles in the attacking third, the most of any player in the league. He has averaged 2.65 tackles, one per 90. And Declan Rice, when he's played in that left centre mid role, he's normally really good with the press. And you can see him press onto the opposition's defensive midfielder and win the ball back multiple times. So if we were to get Joe Nevers and put Declan Rice a bit deeper, we'd still have that player who knows how to anticipate and win the ball back from presses. As these impressive stats show. Now, TotalFootballAnalyst.com have compiled a list of players very similar to Zhao Nevers and it is very, very telling. It shows that Arsenal have a direction in which sort of player they want. Bruno Guimaraes has a 90 similarity score and as you guys know, Bruno Guimaraes is one of our top targets for the midfield position and this is why Team News and Ticks on his website said that Zhao Nevers would be a second plan B option. And this is just brilliant to see. Zhao Neves, really young player, 19 years old. And I would not be disappointed at all if Arsenal failed to pay that hefty 80 million fee for Bruno Guimaraes and paid that for someone younger like Zhao Neves, who clearly has the quality. Arsenal are now in the position where they need to now get the top, top talents who are so good that they can just slide into the team. Zhao Neves would give you minimum 10 years if he's just 19 years old, 10 years of pure quality. Obviously, Guimaraes is not that much older, maybe five, six years older. But if you can get a similar player for cheaper or at a younger age, then go for it, definitely. Jean Neves is definitely the sort of player you'd want to play a premium value amount for. It's also very interesting to see that Thomas Partey is also one of the players who are similar inability to Zhao Neves. I touched on it earlier on in the video that Zhao Neves would likely come in to replace Partey and we know about Partey's progressive passing, brilliant intercepting and this just shows that Zhao Neves is on that type of similar quality when it comes to what Thomas Partey has and that's really really important. We don't want to sell Thomas Partey and have a player who doesn't fulfill his role because when Thomas Partey is fit and firing he's one of the best midfielders in the world. Also, one thing to note is the way that Roberto Martinez describes Xiao Neves, saying that he came into the Portugal dressing room with the likes of Ronaldo, Bruno Fernandes, Bernardo Silva, who are top, top quality players, and he just stunned them. He instantly got their respect for how good he is and how he conducts himself. And, you know, Arteta really values players' personality, and Xiao Neves clearly has a very, very good personality, worthy of being in a Mikel Arteta team. Anyway, that's it for now, Gunners. If you enjoyed, please smash the like button, subscribe and turn on those notifications. Until next time, peace.